What's up everybody, Camro here, and welcome to part 38 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to add the EXP all to the game. First, we're going to look at the scripts, then we're going to look at adding the icon and finalizing it and then testing it in our game. With that said, let's get started. So, I said the first thing we're going to look at are the scripts, and you are going to be pleasantly surprised, because basically everything for the EXP all has already been defined in the base version of Pokemon Essentials. So here I am in the script p item underscore item effects and what this does is it allows us to turn the exp all on and off so when i say exp all i mean you know the gen 6 and above exp share where it gives every pokemon on the party infinite experience when it's turned on and then it doesn't do that when it's turned off so the way that this works is you when you use it from the bag it turns it into the exp all off and when you use it from the exp off from the bag it turns it into the exp all on essentially and um you can just do control shift F EXP all, and then you can find in the Poke Battle underscore battle that the the uh, way that it gives experience to everybody on your team has already been defined as well. Whereas if you have the EXP all, then it gives every Pokemon on your team experience. So that's already great. So that's been done. So what we need to do is actually make it as an item for our game. So if you go back to look at the item handlers, what it does is it checks to see if there's an item named EXP all and EXP all, EXP all off. So these are the exact names that we need to use when we make our item. So let's go into our game folder. Let's go into PBS. Let's open up items.txt. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom, which I have. And now let's hit enter and make ourselves a new item. 526, since the last one is 525. And um, let's use another item that's similar to the EXP all. So, the EXP all is a key item that you can use from your bag, and it doesn't disappear when it's used. Which sounds pretty similar to items like the coin case or the town map. So we can just copy the town map. Uh, let's see, I'm copying the coin case. Okay, let's copy the town map. Let's paste it down here, and then let's tweak it for our own item. So the first one needs to be called EXP all in all caps. And I guess I can just call this the EXP share. And then the next name is the plural name, EXP shares. And then we don't need to modify these numbers, eight and zero, because that's like the item bag and whether you can sell it or not. And then in here, we can edit the description. So the first thing I'll want to do is maybe say, turned on in all caps, you know, this EXP share is on. Um, an item, if I could spell, <laughs> an item that gives all Pokemon experience. There we go. And then we don't need to modify these numbers either. And now we can copy this again and paste a line below for our next version of it, which is the EXP all off. So in all caps, we type EXP all off and we can keep the, uh, the next name the exact same. So this is the internal name, remember? And then these are the names that you see in game. So these can be different, or they could be the same if you want. Just the internal names have to be different, and they have to be exactly this. EXP all and EXP all off. So cool. I can uh, change the description now to say turned off, and now that's basically done. The next thing that we can do is go into our art folder. So let me go back from base and go into graphics, icons, scroll down all the way, and we can make item 526 and item 527.png. I believe the EXP share is a low number. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Item... There it is. Item 77. Let's copy and paste it. And let's rename this to be item 526.png. 526. Copy and paste again. So this is item 527. So they have the same art. If you want to, you can modify it. So 526 has like green for the dots and 527 has red for the dots. If you want to use like Photoshop or paint or whatever to do that. I'm not going to do that for the tutorial, but I think that'd be a good idea to do um, if you put the XP all in your game. But anywho, now that we've got the art for it and we've got it, our item defined and the scripts are already done, what we can do now is we can test it. So let's go into the game and let's give ourselves an EXP share or an EXP all in this case and get it working. So, the game is loading now, and uh, once it's done loading, we'll get into a battle and we'll test it, cool. So here I am in-game, very nice. I can use debug and add item. 
and scroll down a bit until I find EXP share. The thing that's going to be confusing is... Okay, 526. So the number on the left is EXP share. That's going to be our EXP all on. And this will be our EXP all off. 527. So let's give ourselves 526. Give ourselves one. Nice. We got our, we got our EXP share. Cool. So let's go into our bag and take a look at it. So there it is. It says turned on, and that amount gives all Pokemon experience. So if we choose to use it, it'll, it'll turn off, and now it'll say turned off. So if we go into a battle now, not all of our Pokemon will get experience, only that one Pokemon that uh, takes place in the battle. I mean, if more Pokemon switch out, then they can still get experience like normal. But let's turn it back on and try a normal battle. Gush, good grace, that music is loud. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but all right. Hey, there's our Poochiena. It's going to face our Gyarados, and it will get destroyed. Uh, let's just surf him. Look at that animation. Majestic. All right. Poochiena has been taken out. Gyarados gets 99. The rest of your team gains points thanks to EXP share. Perfect. So, if we go and look at all of our Pokemon now, they should all have a little bit of experience. Let's go to our summary. They all earned, and Mew, they all earned a little bit of experience. So that's great. So that's the EXP all working. Perfect. So thank you for watching. This has been kind of a short tutorial. I wanted to do this because not a whole lot of people put the EXP all in their games. And it's very easy to do, as you can see, because a lot of it has already been defined in Pokemon Essentials for you. So I w I'm, s I'm putting this out in a video because I would really like to see more fan games include this. So that way I don't have to grind a whole lot uh, when training Pokemon. Because I, I really prefer the EXP all. And one thing that's really nice about it is you can turn it off. It's 100% optional. But I really like it when games have them due to the fact that you can kind of train all the Pokemon on your team a bit faster. So yeah, it's personal preference whether you want to put it in your game or not. I'm just showing you in this video that it's very easy to do so. So with that said, I think that's really the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I do want to say this. Um, there are a lot of tutorials that I still want to do. If you have ideas for tutorials that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. But right now, I plan on covering mystery gifts, uh, level scaling, wild Pokemon and trainers, so they, they scale up to your level. I want to talk about Z moves eventually, but I'm still figuring that out. Um, there have been Z move scripts that have been completed, though, so that's exciting. I want to talk about um, intros to your game. I want to talk about uh, multiple save files in your game. And I want to talk about partner trainers. So if there's something you want covered and it wasn't on that list I just said, let me know. Um, but yeah, you know, follow on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming a lot of myself working on my uh, Relic Castle Game Jam game. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I hope you guys meet me and uh, hang out there. And uh, yeah, YouTube, Twitter, uh, join the Thundaga Discord. And that'll be it. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.